this is such a dangerous narrative to sell, especially from someone that's not in the veterinary field that people can believe. This is a narrative that's going around from breeders and other people alike that try to spread misinformation from something that they think is true. Leptospirosis is a bacterial infection from the bacterium Leptospira. It is a core vaccine in many states and for a great reason. Lepto is easily obtained through the environment and easily spread through bodily fluids. The biggest point here is that it does not only affect your animal and can cause liver disease, kidney disease, and lead to failures of those organ systems, which can lead to death. It also is zoonotic, meaning that it spreads to humans. And who's most susceptible? Not only you, but if you have any young children in the house, they're very susceptible to this. The reason that people are not inclined to get this vaccine, from what I've heard in the veterinary field, is due to vaccine reaction. Now, while vaccine reaction is still very rare, a study that I saw from 2015 reported that 53 dogs in 10,000 dogs can have adverse reactions, meaning, you know, general clin clinical signs like vomiting, diarrhea, itchiness, that kind of thing. Where in other vaccines, it's about 26 dogs in 10,000. In that same study, I saw that 8.5 in 10,000 dogs could have a hypersensitivity or anaphylactic reaction. While you only hear in social media about the dogs that did get affected by the vaccine, you don't hear about the dogs that get these vaccines every single day, have no reaction, the dogs that die from lepto, that are unvaccinated every day, the staff that is put at risk from these lepto dogs, and then the owners that can come into contact and get leptospira themselves and pass away. Overall, I urge you to do your own research, speak with your veterinary staff, see what is recommended to you 